Welcome to the official Munzee podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munzee. And I'm Craig, also known as See My Show. I'm an avid Munzee player and I'm here to explore the game further. Each week we'll delve into Munzee's mysteries, divulge some secrets, and inform players from around the world just what is coming your way. So sit back and relax as today's episode we're talking about trunks and workshops and whittles what are, what are, what are whittles <laughs> that's what hard to say what are whittles yes if you say what too many times whittles what, what, is what are whittles you know i saw this rob i did we say we read the uh we read the blog post all the time and this is now out as well um as we yeah. speak of this this is now out as of thursday yesterday um yeah. looks really really cool but for those people out there who literally read all the way through the pod, the the blog or, or don't read the blog or don't understand it, this is what today's episode is all going to be about. We've got lots of whittles to get to, mate, lots of them. Yes, so, we do. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. – um, it's, it's a lot of information because it um, it's something new from Munzee, and mm. something new from Munzee is never going to be just a tiny <laughs> splash of information. That's no fun. <laughs> Why would we do that? So. Although, Rob, in saying that too, I've already spoken to you about this because I've done a video out there as well explaining it too, so uh, make sure you have a look at that. Munzee's going to post that very soon. Um, but when you were explaining it to me as well uh, yesterday at length, you'd explain it to me at length yesterday – and I was like, wow, okay, and yeah, this could have gone one of two ways. Luckily for the Munzee people out there that it did go the more easier route, you know, the more yeah. understandable route. So we'll just yeah. say that for the time being before we get into it. But anyway, Rob, yeah. you're, in, you're in the closet again, mate. You're in I, the closet again. <laughs> I am. This is what I do, you know. I just bounce to and from. And uh, yep, yes, yep. I've, I've landed in the closet at my son's apartment. And mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm in Florida um, <laughs> hanging out, soaking up some sunshine, which is great, yeah. except for the fact that uh, the tail end of um, of a, an S-named um, hurricane is has <laughs> has come in uh so this is the final storm of the season is what they've mm-hmm. said so it's a bit cloudy yeah. it's a little rainy out there so um there easiest place you know to hang out yeah and record a podcast is in the yeah. closet yeah. Meanwhile, I've got to ask you as well. Yesterday, a little birdie told me by the name of <laughs> W. Helen yeah. that uh, that you met a few of the big. I'm talking big, big, big Munzee players down in Florida there for for lunch, mate. What? Yeah, how, yeah. how did that go? How did that go? Yeah, um, it was good. Yeah, we had yeah. Uh, Whelan. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see, Cole Cracker seven. Mm-hmm. Your fans. not six. Seven, nope, yeah. seven, and uh, Eagle Dad and Senior. So it was, nice. uh, yeah, nice. good to uh, good to see all of them. Uh, there is no photographic evidence of this meeting. Um, <laughs> it wasn't just, a meeting; it was a meet up. It wasn't an event; it was just true. a meet up. That's all that's, it was. That's a good name for it. Yeah, no. So, so we, you um, had you yeah, had the w- number one. I was going to say, sorry, mm-hmm. Rob, interrupt no, you, no. but you had the number one person in charge of Munzee. That's you there. You had the number one. <laughs> player in the world that w helen you had the number one badge hound in mm-hmm. the world in in eagle dad and i'm sure, sure. cold cracker seven is number one for something um i'm um, just not sure what she is and i think she's maybe number five in the world overall wow. something like that wow. yeah. number five in the world. Yeah. i wonder what she is she's number one in the world for the the height discrepancy between the vehicle she drives and herself so that's what she is so <laughs> oh, she'll she, love that i'm only saying that she knows i'm, I'm only saying because i'm jealous i love her vehicle so and yeah. i love her she's a great woman but anyway yeah. Rob, speaking of vehicles do you want to know what happened in my my next oh yes Please do I haven't sold, I haven't sold mine yet. No, I haven't sold it. But I've bought another one already. I pick it up in December. Have you? So there you go. Yes. You yes, can never yes. have too many, you know, vans. No. No, exactly, exactly. I have to fly, Rob. I have to fly all the way across to Phoenix, Arizona. Pick it up there. Nice. And then drive it all the way back east. So that's, cool. that's what I'll be doing uh, in the week leading up to Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, perfect. Why not? <laughs> perfect time. Why not? You know, the coldest weather. Why not live in a van in the coldest time of the year for, uh, <laughs> for the I US? mean, people make their own choices, don't they? And, <laughs> exactly. uh, and everyone else might go, what is going on? But that's all right. <laughs> all right, Rob. Events last week, we had only two in USA, in Ohio and Minnesota. But before we move on, if you want to know more about the Minnesota event, etc., you're going to have to check out 
Minnesota boy, Minnesota boy, Minnesota boys, YouTube channel, and also Whelan as well, his YouTube channel yeah. as well, Munzee Events. Um, they they both do very good uh, videos when it comes to Munzee Events, sort of styles of things. I know Minnesota boy the other day, he did like a good coexist video too last week, Rob. Oh, yeah. Yes, did you he see did. That I one saw where, that one. Yeah, yeah. He, he went out to find a cash, et cetera, but while he was out there, oh, he's capping Munzee's as well. So, you know, a great, yeah. great man and a great coexister. Well done, Minnesota boy. Um, and then around the world, Rob, we had Quebec, Canada, two in Germany, and one in Victoria and Australia. And then the leaderboards, Rob. Ah, the leaderboards. Friday, W. Helen, 252,000. HBRB at 200,000. And FRLK, 197,000. On Saturday, we had Skindo at 267,000, Pipping Whelan for 243,000, and third place again, FRLK for 197,000 points on Sunday, Rob. On Sunday, Whelan back on top at 113,000, Loesch family, 771,000, and Boomerang 20, 438,000. That's a new name. I don't recognize yes. that one. Yes. Cool. She, the, 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 all those three are from Minnesota because obviously Minnesota yeah. had their event, you see. But uh, a shout out to, uh, look, firstly, shout out to Losh family, 771. Yeah. He's, he's, him and Whelan are normally the ones in charge of a lot of the events there in Minnesota. They both do a great job with those sort of stuff too. Um, yeah. And then, as I said, a big shout out to Boomerang 20. That was her first time, first time ever in the top three. Oh, cool. uh, from Minnesota, so and she did. She did do a little, uh, little hey, yay me on Facebook on the Water Cooler Facebook <laughs> page too, and, and, and again, great support from everyone out there too on the on the Water Cooler, saying congratulations to her as well. So, good That's job. Cool. And she, no, oh, she missed out on a badge because there's no badge for third place. I don't think there no, is. No, only first and second. Well, first and then first loser. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Rob, around the world this weekend we have California, Arizona, and Missouri, and then around the world we have. British Columbia, Canada, Switzerland, Finland, Denmark, Osaka, Japan, with Ooh. the uh, Munzee Maniacs podcast crew, yeah. Yeah. two-thirds two of it, and uh, Victoria, Australia. Very, very good. And I will say, I did looking at the calendar, they've got two weekends in a row, Rob, in Osaka, Japan, just saying. So the next week, yeah, this weekend and the following weekend too in Osaka, Japan, the wow. Munzee Maniacs podcast. And if you don't listen to that, I don't know why not. Go and listen to the Munzee Maniacs podcast and uh, and be on Team Sarah. Anyway. Um, oh, hey, but uh, before then, yes, I got to yes, say that um, yes. this is now three weeks after they put their episode out. Oh, of and course. I listened to it and so did you. And we yeah. talked about it off air, mm-hmm. but we never did say anything on air. True. So. I should I should say hey thanks to you know all of those guys to mm-hmm. Kevin Sarah and PJ um, for you know the uh, uh, sharing their feelings I guess mm-hmm. and um, points of view about uh, the the reseller podcast that we mm-hmm. did the information that we shared and yep. uh, yeah just just didn't say anything but definitely thought it and uh, and felt mm-hmm. it and um, yes so now to acknowledge um, thanks to those yeah. guys please do go listen to their podcast it is a good one. And uh, I will sometimes say, Rob, they even mention, you know, what the weather is like. And don't I say hope that well, I hope that they were listening and I started talking about the weather at the oh, very beginning geez. of this, right? And I mean I, I fell into their trap. What can I you just do? ignore that. I just ignore that part. <laughs> I, but I will say, after listening to that episode, Rob, and you're right, I, I yeah. realized something that I never realized before. PJ actually had a heart. He's actually he got does. a heart. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> The Grinch, it grew three sizes that day. So, you know, exactly. <laughs> oh, I wonder what the next podcast is going to be like. Anyway, the big events coming out Dorset UK is this uh, on the December 7th, and Bantock UK, December 14th, January 16th to 19th, Florida, Munzee Mecca, Munzee Mecca in Florida. That's growing, Rob. Now, that's got over well over 30 attendees now. Yeah. And, um, Rob, guess what? I'm going to say it here now for the first time. Okay. I'm going to put in my attendees now. I'm going to put in my, I've, I've confirmed. Firm with my, I'm going to put my my attendees. What about you? Well, mate? What about you? Well, yesterday I was meeting with a special group of people that just happened <laughs> to be the hosts, um, most of the hosts of that event, and uh, mm-hmm. well, I'll be there too. So. <gasps> Let's do this. There you go. Let's if you have listen some fun. to this podcast, if you listen to this podcast and you want to meet Rob, you've never met Rob for the first time, then come along to the Munzee 
Mecca. Ma- madness, sorry. No, madness? No, 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 it is Mecca. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm reading the wrong one. I get confused. They're all M's. There's too many M's, Rob. The yeah. Munzee Mecca in January 16 to 19 down in Florida. There's five big events happening down there as well. And if you're a coexister like myself, you can save for the week after because uh, Dale and Barb from Space Coast, they've got mm-hmm. a block party. Yes, they've managed to get a block party the weekend after that as well. So you can stay there for two weeks in uh in Florida, where the weather is going to be a lot nicer than what it is up north, mate, just saying. Uh, yeah, yes, yep, definitely. Exactly. Anyway, moving on, the Munzee Quest and Block Party, January 25th to 26th in Sydney, Australia, Munzee Madness, California, March 8th and 9th, May 3rd, Munzee in Uranus, and it's going to be big fun in Uranus. There's actually two events there too, by the way. Oh, okay. um, May 24th is Munstock. Now, Munstock's going to be another big one, Rob. That's in West Virginia, in Morgantown, West Virginia, and it's going to be the same weekend of the uh, the Geo Woodstock, which is looking bigger and bigger and bigger yeah. every single day. This is going to be huge, Rob. Yeah. And and so I'm going to say now, I'm going to go to this. So yeah. you know who else is going? Is GCV. The geocaching <laughs> vlogger is going as well. So uh, there you go. And I think yeah. that I put my will attend down on <gasps> the event a long time ago. <laughs> you but did? I'm not sure officially that we've ever talked about it. So there why not go. just go ahead and say it all now? Yeah. Munstock, it's happening, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I there, there will probably end up being more than just this one event. Of course. Um, of you know, course. When there's this many of us that will be around. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just not myself one to... Uh, host the events because yes well everyone likes it to run smoothly and it's yes. best if i'm not the host for that <laughs> and i've learned that over the years but yes yeah, so get yourself again uh, to a munstock and also put your name down for the munzi event but also put your name down for the woodstock event too if you haven't already done it the geo woodstock too um yes, it would be great to see everyone there i mean you and i are going to go to geo woodstock gcv is going to geo woodstock and yep. everyone who's anyone is going to go to geo woodstock and then do the munzi events that are surrounding the area as well Very so that's true. really cool and then we have we can't forget june 7th and 8th in ohio sos are having theirs if you've got a growing event reach out to me like a few people have and do and i'm sure i'll be in contact with you and talk about it on the podcast meanwhile rob 11 minutes in we've got to whittle our way through this so are you ready for this people <laughs> whittles rob straight away what are whittles? It's well, all yours. they are little wooden creatures, little woodland creatures, maybe. I mm-hmm. don't know. They are um, fun little characters that have been carved from a tree. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, there are eight different types. And um, each one of them has its own unique style. So mm-hmm. the types are the wanderer, outdoorsman, farmer, knight, wizard, witch, viking, and rascal. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a couple of little characteristics that you might notice if you look at them, mm-hmm. uh, because some of them might look um, a little more mischievous, I suppose, would be the oh. word you know that I might go with. Um, perhaps a, a, a smiley look to some and others that might have that that look on their face of i'm getting into some trouble or i'm, I'm causing some trouble, some trouble. Yeah. yeah i did see that and i will i will mention it rob because i'm a I'm, i watch these things too uh the witch it, what you're talking about is the witch the viking and the rascal those three yeah they do look a little bit more devious they've got like a, a green sort of stuff on them like the sap the green sap instead of the nice happy smiling sort of stuff too so yeah Anyway, um, what's what's going to happen with those? What, why is there a difference? Or you can't say that yet. Well, the the blog itself at this point in time doesn't really mention a, a difference, <laughs> uh, I, don't, oh. I suppose, to oh. these things. However, mm-hmm. um, Dylan, in all of his creative wonder, um, mm-hmm. you know, always has some fun plans, especially when he's talking with Andy about the art. And so Andy uh put these all together and so this is this is what they came up with that um as we talked about at the beginning um we had a a very large pool of um ideas uh, mm-hmm. for the whittles and we took that really large pool of ideas and we kept on squeezing it and squeezing it and squeezing it to get down to some really basic information and just let's let's put the whittles out to everyone with mm-hmm. here's basic ideas and the way that it works and uh, get everyone familiar with that and then maybe add in a few different layers of additional fun down the road 
Well, Rob, you do say, and it, this says it in the blog post, and it says it on social media posts too, that this is season one. Oh, does it? Series, yeah. series one, sorry, series one. Yeah. Well, that's because we're excited about this. Um, <laughs> so uh, as you and I record this, uh, mm -hmm. you know, before it launches and everything, um, the team's very excited about this. We've, mm. we've actually talked about this idea for a really long time, the entire year. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working on, you know, when would be the right time to put it out. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we had some plans to release it actually a little earlier in the year, a few months ago, but, um, we've had to focus on a lot of other stuff and some changing yep. priorities. Um, so we've put this out because we think that the timing is right now. Um, and, uh, because these are things that you have to purchase the, the price point is kind of the main thing that we wanted mm -hmm. to look at and keep it as something that brand new players could get involved in having bouncers mm -hmm. that um didn't cost an arm and a leg so yeah you know. and didn't actually cost um actual physical dollars uh, or right. pounds or euro whatever you're, you're, you're right. spending these are actually zeds speaking of which then how do people obtain them rob how do people hey, obtain wheels? good lead in there right so um you uh you get these in the in app store Mm -hmm. And the way that you do it is going in um, to the in-app store. You look uh, for the Whittles trunk. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what these are called. Um, so when talking about these in plural, we have been calling them trunks with the Z on the end. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, you know, that's what we do with all the words. So you've yep. got this little trunk. Um, you uh, you buy that. It's 150 Zeds. And... Um, I think that's yeah that answers that question yeah yeah, yeah that's but it. what happens what happens with them and what you need to look for people this trunk itself is just exactly that it's a trunk of a tree like a stump growing yeah. out of the out of the ground so you buy this rob for 150 zeds and then automatic you don't have to do anything so it's not like mm -hmm. the cubal malls or the crates whereby you have to then go around and cap physical munsies no this one here the whittle like gets released from that trunk straight away Yes. And is a bouncer. Is that right? The whittle is whittled out of the wood. And mm -hmm. here it is. So, yes, it goes and bounces. You get a confirmation message which tells you exactly which one um, you yes. received. Yep. And um, then, uh, yeah, it's bouncing. So... Mm -hmm. How Shall long? I go into that mechanic or go I'll, into the I'll, next? I'll we'll lead you. I'll lead you, Rob. <laughs> I had a so feeling. make it easier. So <laughs> it makes it easier for everyone. So they they release. You got one of eight different types to be uh, to be captured, and they're random. Uh, they're randomly given to you. Uh, once it releases, how long does it last for bouncing around the world? Out there bouncing for five days. Um, so five days in total. <laughs> we had a lot of different possibilities here, <laughs> everyone. So understand yeah. that you know, with as with all of our things, we could have created something that's all kinds of crazy, but mm -hmm. complicated, and lots of um, different rules to the different things like mm -hmm. levels. Um, yep. However, we decided no one 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 uh, lifespan for all the whittles. It's going to be five years. So, yeah, five days. Five, five, five days. years. Five, five days. days. Five, five days. days. And so that's just on days alone. It's not actual on number of caps, et cetera. Very much similar yeah. to now like the Trojan horse whereby um, – well, not Trojan horse. You caught something different, don't you? Um, mm, unicorn, you call, Trojan, Unicorn. Unicorn, unicorn Trojan, yeah. sorry. The Unicorn Trojan whereby you grab that at the beginning of the month and it lasts for the entire month. But the difference is um, that one there, it doesn't matter when you buy it through the month. It only lasts till the very end of the month. This one here is five days and five days to the – to the second that it's released. Is that right, mm -hmm. Rob? That yeah. is and, correct. And no limit on caps either. No. So no, no limit on caps. In order to, yeah, I was going to mm -hmm. say, hmm, do I combine these next ones together? So we've got um, 10 different levels that you can have the whittles at, what? right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. That's my next question for you. And oh, that we'll is. Do so. Yeah, yeah, and that is – so, for instance, I get the farmer farmer whittle straight away and yeah. then I let him go and then I get another trunk and it's another farmer. Can I get another farmer? Yes. You can yeah. have multiple of the same different whittle um, mm -hmm. bouncing around. Mm -hmm. um, as you open the trunk, if you already have a farmer, like you said, mm -hmm. then you're going to have another farmer um, that comes out so that is bouncing around. Uh, the first farmer that you open, level one. As you open another trunk, if it's a farmer, that mm. one is a level two. Oh. If you open another trunk, then that next farmer that you get is going to be a level three. So yep. if, let's say, you know, on launch day, mm -hmm. uh, people opened 10 different trunks. And they will. 
<laughs> right. There are only eight Whittles. Mm -hmm. So it's not possible that anyone would have like, oh, I, uh, they're going to have at least two level twos. Um, yeah. It's all completely random. So it might be that someone gets, you know, a level seven farmer and yeah. then they've only got two other, you know, three other different types that are bouncing around. I was going to say as well, Rob, how many levels then can you have of these bounces? 10. So, so it maxes okay. out, maxes mm -hmm. out at 10. Yep. And um, you will not be given, like if you get your farmer up to level 10 mm -hmm. by opening trunks yeah. and getting all the way to that, uh, you're not going to be given another farmer after that because oh. it's already maxed out. Yeah. So it's maxed out. So, so he listen to this, people. Listen to this very carefully. If I can recall this, Rob, you, there's eight in total, mm -hmm. right? And you once you get to level ten, so there's ten trunks uh, times eight. There's eighty trunks, and because you can't double up after level ten, so if you open eighty trunks in on today then you'll get them all at level 10. Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and you'll have um, 80 whittles bouncing around. For five uh, days only. For five people. days. That's right, five days yeah. only. So you're going to yeah. get some points, but uh, anyway. And, um, and we know we know mm -hmm. that there will be some people that will do that. Um, Absolutely. Abs I, I'm, I'm I, thinking about it myself. <laughs> I know. I, know. I, d I don't expect <laughs> that people, that a lot of people will do that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't know. I, I almost, you know, uh, I, well, I hope that people will enjoy these over time um, as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But the good news is that there is a way to bring them back. Uh, so we'll we'll talk about that piece in just a sec. But uh, yeah. but yeah, the you you go th through level ten. Um, the levels don't have anything to do with the points. Okay, so the okay. points are set. Um, or or sorry, um, the so level one farmer is the same as level ten farmer. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? I I I lost my mind there for a second. I know I saw. I, can, I actually I can <coughs> smell it. I can smell the. Yeah, excuse anyway. me. It's all on fire up there. <laughs> the, it's not. I, I think I said that completely wrong. Mm. The the points mm -hmm. do change oh, based do. on the levels. Yes, okay. it's. If, uh, I I got a few things confused and in, in my wrong. head and combined there, the points do change. So you get more points as these things level up level up um, nice, the, nice. what doesn't change is the length of time for them to bounce mm -hmm. the um how many days they're on the map none of those yep. types of things uh change at all um so you uh you have um them on the map for one hour so this five days um there's a possibility that your whittle if it never gets capped at all mm -hmm. with them being uh in a spot for one hour they will bounce um, a minimum of 119 times because they're out there for 120 hours. So, so what are you saying, Rob? Now you you jumped again. I know you do this all the time, but that's okay. You've jumped again. So, <laughs> what what you're saying is, firstly, number one, and that is the higher the the level, the more points the bounces is actually worth, the whittles yes. worth. But these bounces themselves are different to other bounces because they only last for one hour on their mm -hmm. host. Right, yeah. right, right. So that's it. That's all it is. Just jumping back to, just to let you know, because I did some math quickly. If you mm -hmm. want to do this, this eight by ten trunks straight away, then it's going to mm -hmm. cost you twelve thousand zeds. Oh, so okay. There yeah. you go. So because they're one hundred and fifty each by uh, times times that by eighty, and there you go, twelve thousand right. zeds. Um, just sorry, it was in my head at the time. So oh, Rob, that's fine. Mm -hmm. They bounce around for, and they only do one hour on each particular host. Uh, and then what happens after they're archived after that five days? So after the five days, the Whittles um, are kind of out on a mission. They, mm -hmm. uh, during this time collecting twigs, they deliver twigs back to you as twigs. the owner. Twigs, okay. yes. Twigs. So these twigs are going to be, um, well, they're, they're a new credit. So it's like oh. the jewel shards. It's like, cake um, credits. you know, cake credits, that type of mech. thing. Right. The cogs for the mech. So this is a bouncer right. that we, you know, we've been, we've tested this with Finn mm -hmm. here, the mm -hmm. Storyland myth, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Where on occasion Finn Rear brings back rover treats. Uh, yes. Because dogs hunt in packs. Exactly. So we've been testing that and that's what these whittles are going to do. The whittles oh. break down into twigs mm -hmm. and, um, and so you get some of those. So you'll be able to go to the redeem store, which yep. as we all know is in the app now, it, in app um, now yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is great. So there's a new twigs section mm -hmm. in the app and, um, 
you'll be able to see some things there. Uh, th- we're going to have low cost items mm-hmm. and some that you will have to save up a lot of your twigs uh, over time in oh. order to uh, to redeem for things like what might you build twigs, you know, build out of twigs, use twigs. Like to build. a house so, or a tree or something that's whatever. Bank or, you know, any, oh. all kinds of crazy things. Oh. Who knows? So, oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, um, Rob, to go with this as well, Munzee, as we all know, and Eagle Dad, we just spoke about him before being the badge hound. I'm taking there's, there's going to be lots of badges to go with there these two. There are quite a few badges, and mm-hmm. uh, the number of badges, you know, they, you could expect that these will um, be something that we continue to grow the sets of mm-hmm. uh, of badges that go along with the badges. Yeah. So there you go. There you go, Gary. There you go, mate. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be the first one to get the 12,000 points. So just for the, purely for the badges, nothing. <laughs> Else, but purely for the badges, so all there you go. out there. Yep. Meanwhile, Rob, um, you said before that these are going to bounce around, very similar to Cuban Mools, I dare say, in terms of what they're going to bounce on, etc. But is there anything in particular that they're going to be attracted to? Uh, I see there's this thing called the Whittles Workshop. What's that? Yeah, the Whittles Workshop is a special um, temporary destination. Mm-hmm. lasts for three days that uh, mm-hmm. the Whittles and Cuban Mools will land on. Mm-hmm. Um, so that you've got uh, sort of a special place if you're looking for, you know, specifically for whittles or for cubimals. Um, right. Yeah. So it, it works the same as all the other different temporary destinations, temporary destinations. as far as so being a landing pad. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you can, you, and again, that temporary destination, you can actually get in-app as well. Or you can only get in-app. Right. Um, a hint for everyone, if you've never used a temporary destination before, you place it right near you, right near where you are. It's okay. It doesn't have any restrictions in terms of, um, you know, radius dis- um, restrictions or anything for other Munzies. It's on a different level itself. Uh, place it near you. you it, then you get, what, six or seven um, whittles on there every single day? Um, yes, it, it uh, mm-hmm. holds six. And then if you're a premium member, um, you use a magnet. Then and it can uh, hold seven. have an opportunity for seven. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Um, and at the same time, these are the same as other temporary destinations in the terms of that uh, they're open for everyone to actually obtain. So in other words, Rob, if you've got yourself and you've got your couple of kids and your wife, et cetera, in the same household, you've all got, you know, you're all play Munzee, firstly, well done. Um, yeah, yeah. But you can you can all then cap the the this one temporary destination at the same time right. every single day. Or if other players are passing by, they can cap it as well. So yeah. there you go. The, this de- destination, though, does it attract um, just Whittles or anything else? It's Whittles and Cubimals. I oh, believe Whittles it's and Cubimals. all it's there going to be. Yes. There you go. So so hence the reason why you've put Cubimals, Rob, in the uh, la- this month's um, Clam Wars. See? So there you go, yeah. people. You can get it all in one go now. With it's, Stop. Don't whinge. Don't complain. Oh, how do you get Cubimals? Um you know, mind you, I, I I was one of those that magnetized, you know, things and I got <laughs> one early. But anyway, there yeah. you go. The Whittles Workshop. Grab it if you haven't got your kibbles because you can get your kibbles from the Whittles Workshop. Meanwhile, Rob, you said before that uh, that once it goes to level 10, you can't buy another trunk because you've got no more to actually mm-hmm. get from a trunk. So you, the trunk you won't be able to buy at all. But how can then I redeploy these Whittles? Because I think they're really cute. Yeah, so if you want to um, <clears throat> keep these whittles moving, mm-hmm. then you now have a new option at the wishing well. Um, what? We've we've talked about this. <laughs> we've hinted at this. Um, <laughs> We wanted, you know, we wanted to put some new things out as wishes mm-hmm. or to, to use stars for. And this is it. Uh, wow. So <clears throat> you pay that 150 Zeds, you get a um, whittle. Yeah. And if all you ever want is one, cool. Just no one. problem. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So you've there got you go. that one. It's going to be there for five days, but you can bring that thing back without paying anything ever for it because no. all that you have to do is join Cappy on a daily stroll. Yeah. So <clears throat> a lot of people, you know, oh man, I don't like this and all that kind of stuff. Totally get it. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, you can have these whittles and they can just bounce for five days and that was 150 Zeds and then it's done. No problem. Yeah. Um, yep. But this is for those people who, you know, you've been looking for something um, mm. a little bit different. So yeah. with these whittles, the higher the level, the lower the number of stars it costs for you oh. to redeploy them or to rebuild, um, re-whittle, you know, that whittle, get it bouncing and again. Yet, and yet – 
the more points you get. So in other words, Rob, yeah. what you're saying here and what I can read properly, and that is a level one Whittle will cost you 75 stars. Now, provided you can only have 100 stars in your little wallet, people. Right. You, you can't have any more than that. You max out at 100. So you've got to spend 75 stars for a level one. But if you get up to a level 10, it's going to cost you 25 stars, yes. and yet you get more points. So it makes it more sense to get these Whittles in people. And each time you get 150 uh, Zeds, and again, you get Zeds by different things. You know, bank pairwise now give you Zeds, for instance. You know, mm-hmm. um, I saw that on I saw that on the water cooler. And there's other ways, you know, your daily Zeops gives you Zeds, your, your Clan Wars gives Clan, you Zeds. Yeah. Yeah, all these things can give you Zeds, which then you, you put back into the game by collecting Whittles and then, oh, wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, Rob. I like it. I yeah, like it. we're hoping it's going to be fun. Now, th- this mm-hmm. is um, kind of the star pricing, if you will, for us mm-hmm. um, as we launch. Um, I know what it takes to get 25 stars. So, yes. um, so that, uh, you know, that's something as a perk for getting to level mm-hmm. 10 so you mm-hmm. you know w- can can get those back out on the map a little bit quicker it would take most it would take the average person two days possibly three um maybe even four uh to get cu- 25 stars you have to actually uh, yeah. go and walk in order to yeah. get 25 stars exactly. or you have exactly. to use rover treats and boosters exactly. and um and i do know that i recognize mm-hmm. that and, and yes. that is on purpose for this well, we aren't like just going oh okay here's you know everyone can get uh five mm. stars in a day um, no and so they were going to make these five stars but we are no. we're starting it this way yes and obviously we'll be watching um mm-hmm. to see uh how things are going making sure mm-hmm. that it's working properly like we want it to and if it's mm-hmm. not then we'll go and we'll make changes to the star costs and some of that kind of stuff right, uh, right. But, but yeah this is the plan for now and just for people out there as well, in regards to the stars and, and the daily walks, etc. even Rob, even if you are one of those people, and look, I'll be honest, I'll be 100% honest, I'll put my hand up here as well, it's happened to me more often than not, whereby mm. I will still activate Cappy and I'll still, from my house, and I'll activate him from my house and I will pick, pick up one, two, maybe three stars, and not not using Rover Treats or not using anything else, I don't, no boosters, two, three stars, and so I can do that from my house. Yeah. And if I do three stars every day, 15 days, Rob, goes by. So half the month, in the month, I can actually obtain two of these level whittles by yeah. not even leaving my house. So it's not yeah. that hard to do. Yeah. Um, no need to, to complain about it or whatever because you yeah. play it how you want to play it. Um, and if you don't want to play it all, you don't play it all. You know, it's, Absolutely. It's but but, but totally in saying that, I, and I, do, I do like the actual thing. The average person, I personally think, is probably five stars a day. I'm going to say average. You yeah. know, so if you do five stars a day, Rob, times twenty five, that's five days. How long do the whittles last for? Five days. Oh wow, look at that! It all matches up. So <laughs> you, anyway, you have uh, you have have seen the math that I have actually <laughs> sat there and done in the background um, because we we looked at it and we tried to decide if it was going to be ten stars, um, mm-hmm. and you know, one hundred stars for a level one was actually where we start with yeah, um, yeah, that's a lot yeah that's a full bank that takes yeah. the average person a really long time and so yeah. we didn't want to have level 10 as low as 10 stars mm-hmm. and we didn't want to have level one as high as 75 or 100 stars so yeah. kind of balanced everything out and like i said yep. we've been playing with this internally it feels good to me mm-hmm. uh however mm-hmm. um when we get it out to the masses that's where we get all the feedback and that's where mm-hmm. we you know look at and reevaluate so um, very good so yeah, stick with us. We're gonna we're gonna make this where it uh, it's Goldilocks. It fits just Perfect. right. Perfect. Now, people, if you need more information in regards to this, number one, go to the blog post. Number two, mm-hmm. re-listen to this podcast as well. Or number three, have a look at the video that's been posted uh, that I did uh, only yesterday in regards to this. And I hopefully you you can sync it in a little bit that way. Um, yeah. So, in other words, if you listen, if you watch, or you read, they're your three senses, people that uh, that we've that you've done from there, which is really good. Rob, we're running well over time now, and the yeah. question of the week Sorry. comes from quick one for you from Minions Are Cool, our good friend, a long time listener of the show. Uh, listens every single week so shout out to minions are cool in california he says how can i encourage more people to join munzee in my local area rob oh my you know um 
they seem to be doing a pretty decent job of, mm. of hosting events, you know, mm-hmm. in that area. Mm-hmm. We've seen the pictures. They've got the event flag. Um, mm-hmm. I would say that they're they're actually doing quite a few things right uh, yeah. in that area. Um, so for for um, for for Kyle to be asking, like, how do I, I get more people in my <laughs> area? Um, it is really like, well, everyone around the world, how do you get more people in exactly. your area? The suggestions, you know, have come in with the referral code being yes. put out in place, different locations, which you've said in the past. Mm-hmm. And, and to my knowledge, he does that. He goes and puts it yeah. places, um, you know, get into uh, different types of groups that are mm-hmm. uh, location-based gaming, you know, people, because those mm-hmm. are our people. Um, not everyone, obviously, uh, wants to play all of the different games. And so mm-hmm. everyone doesn't transfer over to Munzee. We don't all play Pokemon Go. We don't all play, you know, all the different ones. But exactly. uh, but exactly. trying to find like minded people is is a uh, one of the best ways and right. um, and really just keep getting the word out there. So and that's... Kyle, you, Kyle, you and your team over there in California are doing a great job. So keep it yeah. up, keep it up, mate. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Munzee request of the week. I'm going to go through this pretty quick, Rob. But this one is from Corvette on Discord, and they say I like many other players use premium filters con- to conveniently cap the POIs and bounces around me every day. However, the premium filters do not include the wishing wells. This this means I have to constantly switch between filters and I end up forgetting about the wishing wells and I miss out on nearby ones. Could you please add the wishing wells to the premium filters? That's, that um, requires a, um, you know, pass it along to the, the team sort of response, yeah, maybe? I believe so. I I yeah. personally can't. Um, however, no, I know. <laughs> uh, this, this certainly does come in as a request now, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Uh, exactly. There's a there's a, an email address for that. And um, yeah, Sam is listening. And uh, yes. Sam is, is usually and a Sam's man on of the Discord. people. Yeah, yeah, Sam loves it on Discord as well. So there you go. Yeah. All right, Rob, we're going to end with a Munzee tip of the week. And this one is from me again. And that is... There's more to Munzee than just capping things, and we've said this plenty of times before. So try new things for your clan war requirements. I know a few people every single month that reach out or they come out with different ways um, for the clan war requirements, like magnets for this or looking to deploy that, like the shields for the unicorn horses, et cetera, et cetera. So remember, remember, but remember always, Rob, always have fun and enjoy this great hobby that is ours, that is Munzee. So there you go. Oh. That's the tip of the week. You like, and I say oh, nice and warm to finish I mean, on. That is really nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Don't let the weather hold you back. No. Nope. Just, just find a way around whatever that block is. Yeah. Whether that, that's too cold in the northern hemisphere or too hot in the southern hemisphere, that makes no difference. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Rob, 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 that ends another official Munzee podcast. Uh, thanks for joining us on this month's the adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcasting app, and join us next week for another informative episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of mobile game players. So keep scanning, keep discovering, keep that Munzee spirit alive, Rob. One, two, three, whittle on! Whittles! Whittle on! Whittle on! Whittle on! Whittle on. Whittle on.